Hello and welcome back to the Life in Germany YouTube channel. If you have not met me, my name is Jenna. I am a Canadian who has been living here in Germany since 2014. I created a huge program to help expats and internationals moving to Germany settle in and you can check that out over on lifeingermany.com. But today I am really excited to talk about a topic that I have been wanting to talk about for so long and that has to do with making friends here in Germany. And before we jump right into it, we're going to meet another local expat who I have had the pleasure of working with before. He has some stories of his own when it comes to making friends here in Germany. But the most important thing that you need to know, especially if you are German watching this, is that this video has not been created to attack you guys or make you feel like you're terrible people or something. You know, we're all here living in Germany for a reason. But one of the problems can often be making friends. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video. It really supports me. It really gives me the motivation to move forward. And I am very, very excited to hopefully reach 10,000 subscribers soon because I have a very big surprise for you guys. So before we introduce our special guest, we're basically going to go through a survey or some survey results from a company called Internations. And there's one survey that they do. I have the information here. It's called Expat Insider Survey. I'm just going to read some statistics for you to kind of understand why we are introducing this topic today, the importance of the answers that we're going to go through. First things first, they often survey 64 countries around the world and Germany oftentimes falls in the bottom five out of those 64 countries, always for the ease of settling in here and as well for the friendliness. So that's talking about the friendliness of Germans or the ease of making friends here in Germany. And there were a couple of stats that stood out to me. There are more than 55% of expats that say they struggle making local German friends here in Germany. And more than a quarter of expats rate the friendliness of the German population quite negatively. One expat in the study actually said that the general unfriendliness of the local people is one of the worst things about living in Germany. As an international myself, I have to say I do somewhat agree with that. There are so many amazing reasons why I love living in Germany, but I think the friendliness has been something that I've struggled with over the last seven years. So today our special guest, and I'm so excited to introduce him from Match Families, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But let me introduce you to Jangar. Yeah, good morning. Morning, Jenna. Morning, everyone. So I'm Jangar. I'm an expat. I'm originally coming from Russia. And I moved to Germany about five years ago with my family. And as an expat, you know, finding friends, well, I went through through all of these stages. And of course, um, you know, I agree with you. It's, it's, not, it's not easy to make friends in Germany, especially if you're new or just came to this uh, country. I agree with with the uh, results of this study, uh, Germany is not Mexico or or Ecuador, which were on top of that list. Yeah? I know people are more not, not closed off, but you, you just need to take to, to, to take some time in order to, to get closer to them, uh, which is absolutely okay. In general, it's it is a challenge, and I was thinking, well, how to make it easier? Yeah? What are the ways? What are the solutions? That's why I uh, founded own company, which is called Match Families, and we're we have developed an app to help families and couples in Germany and worldwide uh, to easily find friends, family friends, find other families, compatible families, to make friends. You really hit the nail on the head there with um, finding, you know, that pain point that we all experience here in Germany and then creating a business out of that. You're an expat, so you've experienced this, but you've also lived here for over five years, which kind of puts you in this middle area where you, you understand, you know, the pain of the internationals, but then you also understand why this might be the way it is. So I guess the first question and probably the biggest question that we all have as internationals when we first move here is why? Why is it so hard to make friends with Germans here in Germany. I think it's it's because of the culture of Germans. You know, as I said, they're they're more more closed off, or um, you know, it's it's not it's not like they're super friendly from the very beginning. You know, it's, it just takes a bit more time. But for foreigners, as we come, we, we don't know what's going on in their heads. Like you don't know whether they're open to get in touch to make make friends. You know, is it okay to invite someone to your place for a barbecue? You don't know that's the issue. You don't know what's if they're open or not. 
you try to read those signs, like in their eyes and some of the behavior, what they say. And let's talk about more about that. Yeah. And there are yeah. lots of Germans, and you know, across five, five years, I've met lots of Germans who are super open to get in touch with foreigners. They want to learn the culture. They want to meet new people. They want, I don't know, to try new cuisine or learn. And there are lots of these Germans. The issue though, where do you find those Germans? Like when I tell you that there are so many Germans, people say like where they are in our little village. I don't think there are, but there are. Imagine if all Germans who are friendly and want to make friends with internationals are in one place, you can easily get in touch with them. So yeah. that's why we're building, building these apps. You're really right when you say, you know, it's it's hard to read them. And I think that that's our problem as internationals is we first get here and then we just immediately judge and say, oh, they don't like us. You know, they don't want to be friends with us. They have their own friends. So they just don't like us. They're just being rude or inconsiderate. And I think that that's where all of this false understanding comes from is that they're not, I mean, some people might be rude, <laughs> but I'd say in general, Germans are not rude. It's just the way that we perceive it as internationals when we first come here. And that's because I, they are a little bit more closed off yes sometimes they're harder to read like I still sometimes get so weirded out when I find somebody staring at me and when I see that they're staring at me I see they're judging me and then I look at my husband and say oh this mother's judging me that I'm a bad mom and he said a she probably doesn't even know she's looking at you it's just something that happens and b like she's she's probably just like looking like oh hey you know her shirt's really nice or something but it's just the way that i guess we we act and, and we behave uh, around the world it's different right and in germany i think that they don't show so much emotion at the beginning or they're not super outgoing and bubbly when it comes to making friends i always constantly compare it to i don't know like an artichoke or an onion or something you know there's layers to a friendship and you have to peel back those layers and build that fundament of trust with a German in order to make a lifelong friend. I fully agree with you. I think German Germans are very sincere people if compared maybe to other cultures. If they are friendly to you, they're sincerely friendly. They're not just trying to show that their friendliness, they're sincerely like you and therefore they're friendly. And it's good, to, maybe it's even good that if, if you don't feel that friendliness, they're also sincere. They want to say, hey, I'm so nice, but I actually don't like you. And so in that sense, it's actually very easy with Germans because you understand that if they like you, as you said, then it, that means they like you and they want to make friends. And then when you become friends, they're great friends. We definitely need the confidence as internationals, I think, to come and to, to understand that that people are not judging us and that we do need to step out of our comfort zone too to make this friendship possible. You know, of course, it's a, it's a two-way street and I think uh, it might be more difficult with Germans, but how do we get around this? So like how would you advise we're saying you know it's it's hard to make friends in germany or to make a friend with a german sometimes not always but sometimes how exactly would you say that we go about kind of taking the right steps in the right direction to build these lifelong friendships with locals here in germany you have to understand that you know it takes some time for germans for germans to you know digest whether you're a nice person or not like is there a stone in your pocket or not and if you're open and sincere to them which i think is the best way like just be yourself be open sincere be who you are just don't try to pretend to be someone but just be yourself then they will see this yeah? and then they will understand like okay so this is a nice person uh, slowly step by step you will you will get into this and of course, you know, respect their their space, their culture. For example, one of my friends, when we first like were trying to make friendship, and you know, I invited them to my place, and then uh, he said like, "Oh, come to my place next time." I said, "Yeah, sure, we'll do that." He said, "Well, um, I have a slot like in, in six weeks. Is it okay for you?" I was like, "In six weeks? Like, it's like one and a half months." from now for a French visit. And, and to me, it was like a shock. But for him, it was absolutely fine. And he was like, is it fine? Is it? Yeah, it's fine. It's okay, we'll come. But uh, you know, you have to understand that it's the way they, uh, they plan things. It's not that they're unfriendly. This is yeah. just their yeah. way of how they arrange their life. And then after first visit, next time it was two weeks, and then they become more spontaneous. They get you into their space. And that's absolutely fine. So I think respecting their culture, the way how they getting closer to people is very important and be a bit passionate about this because sometimes people, you know, think, ah, oh, they're like so slow or maybe they're not interested. Like always operating under this kind of a pre-assumption or stereotype that it is hard to make friends with Germans. And I don't want 
anything hard. I want everything easy, like it is in Mexico. Uh, well, <laughs> if you really want to make friends, you need to you do something about it. Yeah? yeah. And I think also in Germany, which is kind of different from at least North America, where I come from, is that you can make friends much, much easier, I think, in clubs and larger groups than you do perhaps, I don't know, like if I went to a club or something one night and was out drinking with my friends and met another cool girl at the bar, I'd just be like, hey, you know, what's, what's your number? We should hang out. This doesn't always happen in Germany, so it's a little bit different. I think that they have a lot of these like Vereins or clubs here in Germany, and that's usually a really easy way to go about it. But I say easy, it's actually really, really difficult for an expat because these clubs are entirely in German, right? So it's really kind of a difficult process to actually figure out, okay, not only is it tough to make a friend in German, but it's tough to also understand, okay, which ones speak English or which ones are happy speaking English, you know, because you've got Germans who know English but don't like speaking the English language or you've got Germans who do speak English and, and German, of course, um, and they love mixing it up and they want to teach you how to speak a bit of German and you can joke about it. And these are the friends, the German friends that I have. This type of relationship is just amazing, you know, but to find it can be really difficult. The next question would be, how do we get past that awkward stage. It's not like the same when you're a kid and you say, hey, you want to hang out or do you want to come to my house after school? And we're not in a relationship, you know, we're not dating either. So it's not like you find someone good looking and you're like, hey, can I get your number? Like, I'd love to take you on a date or something. But it's similar, it is, you know? It's just so weird. Like sometimes I meet girls at the park who are really cool and I'm just thinking to myself, how do I even ask them for their phone number? Like, it's just such an awkward conversation to have. Do you have any tips for perhaps moving forward and, and kind of avoiding that awkward stage? This is awkward. And I think, uh, you know, making friends as adults in general is it, quite tough. You can't like, as you said, it's not like so easy and you don't want to make uncomfortable situations because like, what, what if they will say like, uh, well, actually I'm not giving my numbers to anyone and you're like, ah, oh. And you don't, you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable and you don't want, you know, to get maybe out of your comfort zone as well, asking this. And you just pass by, you don't do anything. And then I think like, oh, maybe I should have asked, you know. And I was thinking, you know, that how to how to solve this issue. It's always like a chance, you know, you can make good friends uh, by chance uh, through the kids or those friends, clubs, interests. But it takes so much time, you know, it takes mm -hmm. a lot of time. I know this because, you know, we started to make more or less good friends after two years of living in Germany. I was thinking, okay, how can we solve this issue by having one place where everyone by default is interested in making friends? So you don't have to ask them, like, are you interested to make, uh, are you interested to exchange numbers or what's up, you know? Because it's awkward for us adults, it's not comfortable. So let's make it comfortable. Let's have one place. You know, everyone is looking for the same. They're open, they want to make friends. So whenever you reach out to them by liking their profile uh, in the app, that means, okay, so someone is, you know, on the same wave with me and thinks that we can be a friend. So you can just respond them with the like and you can chat. Instead of those years and uncomfortable situations, now with technology, will they, you know, with one button, you solve this issue. And it's a serious time saver. I mean, I know, that kind of sounds rude because I know that it, I mean, it takes time to build up a friendship, but you also want to get through those layers like A, do they even want to make friends? Like B, do you think you're even going to like them? Of course, I'm not saying you should judge them from their profile picture on Match Families, for example, but the, the great thing is that I'm on the, the app as well. So <laughs> of course, I know how it all functions. And basically, like I've gone through and I've said like, I love going and having barbecues. I love going hiking, but other people have other interests. I've met families where I thought that they were amazing their personalities were incredible and then as soon as we met we realized we had nothing in common it's a tricky way you know you know because we have a very limited choice where we can meet someone like only through kids or only through this or only club or occasionally and on facebook you're like oh this is an individual profile i don't know anything about these people their interests but when you find someone like you said you're you're a good good friend it makes you so happy like oh so many things fit Mm -hmm. But then if you have this, you know, limited choice, then, you know, it limits the opportunities for you to find someone cool, someone really matching. But with the technology, with the internet, where you have, you know, masters of people, you have a better precision. Like, oh, I'm actually liking chess as well. Hmm. Or they like barbecues or hiking, like, like us, you know, same age. They speak our languages. 
you know, it's, they, they look cool and kids are the same age. Why not? It just increases your chances like a thousand times instead of just, you know, waiting until you uh, get along with one of the parents of uh, your, yeah. your school friends with your kids. So it's like, really, it's a big deal. As an expat, as an international yourself, and somebody who's been living here for five years already, I think you've got some pretty good experience under your belt. What are the top tips that you would give an international or an expat who is moving here for the first time, whether that's regarding friends or moving to Germany in general? Well, first of all, I think having a close social circle for us expats determines our quality of life in a new country. Yeah. A lot of people leave countries because not because of the bad roads or expensive public transport. This is because they feel unhappy in a country. And, and it is very serious, you know, to make sure that you have close friends, that you're happy in a country, that you need to do something about it. And, and don't listen to anyone. You know, you can make friends with Germans, just be yourself, but never give up. Because at, in the beginning, it will be like that, I think. Like, oh, they're a bit, a bit not friendly. Like, oh, maybe all of them, they are not friendly. Oh, it's easy for me to find someone who speaks my language, who comes from my uh, same country like me. You know, of course, it's an easy way. You can make e these kind of friends easily. But if you meet, like, good German friends, yeah. families, that can change your life, that can open your uh, new doors, that can, you know, impact the way of, of how, how quick you learn the language, how quick you settle in, you know, in terms of, you know, knowing how everything works. Just one friend can change everything. Well said. It is hard work making friends and you do have to put that work in. And a lot of internationals, I think, just kind of like push it off to the side because they say, you know, I have to get my residence permit. I have to find a job. I have to figure out how the grocery system works or how the garbage system works. I have to do all of this before I find friends. And I think this is a really, really false mentality that we have. Some of your number one priorities should be making friends when you first get here because you're right. It is, at the end of the day, one of the most important factors to make sure that you have an amazing life here in Germany because having friends and family around you, it's going to make your experience. Well, just simply, what can be more important than that? You now think about it. What can be more important than your friends and family? Money, fame, your career? No. I think yeah. many people don't, don't pay much yeah. attention to that. And that's a big mistake. Don't do Absolutely. that. Thank you so, so much. If anybody has more questions, of course, they can always ask us definitely in the comments section below. I'm sure both of us will be checking. Otherwise, you can definitely check out Match Families. I will also leave a link down below so everybody can check that out too if you have any questions about that. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. That was a nice to chat with you. 